so let's start here. Is it okay to start it in the mode or Vicky? And I can start. Okay, great. Let's start. So uh, good afternoon. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you once again for joining us today. Thank you for attending, and thank you to fxstreet.com to give me the opportunity to speak. Uh, my name is Telmo Pinto. I'm the founder and director of market operations at Intuition Trading Group. For those who aren't familiar, we're a team of professional traders dedicated to provide simple, real-time, unified trading solutions for investors. You can see more details of our service at fxstreet.com services page or at our website, intuitiontrading.com. Okay. For those who are the first time with us, uh, it's preferable you see our previous recorded um, webinars. They are available at fxtreet.com webinars recorded page. Uh, so you can better understand how I define the levels, IONL as the market, resuming the tools I use. Uh, in order to give you the levels during the, the webinars. It's important to know the disclaimer. Um, any comments I made or any levels, uh, they are not a solicitation to invest and you should, and you should carefully consider your financial situation uh, prior to making any investment. Um, it's preferable you seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, yesterday uh, webinar, on the finish of yesterday webinar, I was talking about, let me open here the platform so we can see. I was talking about a way you can even more see the proportion of the movements. Is good. Um, is perfect. Since it's Friday webinar, uh, I will go further. Uh, I will go further with uh, with uh, with analysis of the pairs. But this this is very interesting concept, I think, in my opinion, for you to see how to define or how to better see how market can move in blocks. As you know, uh, I trade with the uh, rank of our chart, the 21 pips or the 34 pips. This is the Australian dollar, okay, the pair against the, the US dollar is the OC pair, uh, and is a 34 pips uh, chart, rank of our chart. And you can see here, um, we can define blocks on the trading or on the movements of the trading. I call these blocks as cycles. We have minor cycles or uh, median high cycle. We can have blocks of three, uh, two, uh, sorry, two, three, five, seven, nine, or 11. This is the most common ones. Although we can see blocks of four bars, five bar, uh, four bars, six bars, eight bars, okay? But in generally, the market moves in blocks of seven, of, of two, three, five, seven, nine, and 11 blocks. And you can see here, we have here a seven blocks move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can count here the bars, okay? This big block here, this first rectangle. Then we had a pause, okay? The ranging area, this, this is what I call a um, a pose or the pair or a ranging area. The ranging area can be of two, three, or four. We have here, we can have here a come to this level and then market go up again to retest the first movement of the market. Usually, <coughs> sorry, usually they are two or three blocks. Okay? Then we have this cycle and we have a test to the top of the tree. So what we can interpret is, okay, we have this up move and now how we can see where price might go from this move, okay? So we can go back because market is in continue, is a, is a, is a repeat of the previous pattern, okay? 
So we have here first the test here this level first the test of this area. So the first block is made or cycle. Then we have here a retest of the ranging area. And then market went down but didn't make this retesting here. I put this level here because as I told in, in previous webinars, the weeks this weeks of the bars are important in uh, so we can see potential support or resistance level. In this case here we have a break, okay, then a retesting here, a retest at this level, break, a retest on the second bar, then market break. On the range in gear, we have a break, a, a retest of the level, then, a, uh, sorry, mm, this, then we have a retest of the bar here, this red or orange bar here, then we have a retest of the eye, then break again. So I put this line here because I see here a possible retest and I was expecting the market to go there. Okay, the market went there, there's not a problem. We are currently testing this level. If market break this level here up, I can consider entry long, okay, because we have this, let me put here, made in the shape, okay, can be the ellipse in order to understand. We have there, oh. ah, okay, now I can click. Okay, this area here is the congestion area of the pair. So this is about seven pips, okay, 64, 68, 70 pips, okay, you can go to 80. So uh, we have here this ranging area, market can test that sorry, that level, and then can go further down. If I see a break, okay, is good, so we can go up and test the 106 level. So this is important in order us to see, or oh, so we can see the levels and how market moves. Although this is not uh, mathematically cool, okay, we... We don't know, okay, if break this, can go to this level, if go there, go to that level. There are unbalances of the price. And these unbalances are created by the traders or the, the, the traders, the, the, the players on the market. Okay, can be banks, retail traders, institutional, etc. Okay, so those unbalances are created. But what this interpretation of the bars can give us is a clear or a more clear picture of the current market scenario, okay, or market movements, if you if you want to see. We know that this is a resistance level, so we need to see a break in order to go long, or if we were short, we want to put our stops above this level in order the market don't go to this level, okay, let me put here, market don't go to that level, and then come down, and okay, or well, my stop was it, and market went down. So this is the level we need to see in order to be not stopped out, and then see market continuation the trade that we were previously on, okay? So this is resuming. Um, I'm planning to make a webinar only related to this, so this will be good, but this is resuming what I was talking yesterday, okay, but I will further explain in a specific webinar how we can define this or uh, or better understanding these cycles of 2, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11 bars, okay? Gonzalo, do you avoid taking positions in a ranging zone? That depends, Gonzalo. That is a good question. I always prefer uh, to see a break of those ranging areas because uh, I personally uh, I'm almost 90% of the time in the market 
okay? My trades are entering, reversing, entering, reversing, okay? Reverse the position, reversing the position, enter, reversing the position. Although, if you are a trader that have a specific target, because I don't use any specific target. Market can give us 50 pips, 100 pips, 500 pips, okay? We don't know what market can give us, and when that was really clear in the, let me put here, is that the same? Okay, and that is very clear on this up move of the euro, okay, since the non farm payroll. In here, I'm talking a movement of 600 pips with no possible re entry, okay? At least in my system, this. Okay, we, we can think this was a possible re-entry on the break, but from this level here to this level here, we are talking about 400 pips. So I prefer not to use targets, but of course I always use stop loss. But regarding your question, uh, on these ranging areas, uh, sometimes you can entering if we see a possible break of the area. Let me put here an example. And this can, uh, let me put here an example on the euro, we have that on the 21 pips chart. Okay, for instance, let me clear here the, the object so we can, okay. So we can see here a perspective, okay. So we have here the range, okay, and we can interpret this ranging here, okay. From the last lower high till this, as you can see, we have a three reverse, um, three microcycle here, okay, or mini cycle, as you as you I call. In this, you are in perfectly in the range, okay? You, you, you have a range here. Uh, this is a 21 pips chart, okay, or, the, or of the euro dollar. In here, you are perfectly on the range. I entered long here in this level, okay? I took this trade and I entered long here. Because my risk reward is about three bar downs, okay, or three bar ups. So my risk reward in this case is one to one. So I took market went down, then went up. We can have, I will go and analyze this because this is a very important, but just to answer your question, I'll go to the analysis further. This is a possibility of entering into a range or, or, or in a range, okay? You have here this clear range of 60 pips, market went down, but then go to that level, retest here, retest the level, go down again, but then, okay, decide to go break, and I entered long here, expecting that market uh, went to this level here. Okay, so these are the situations we can enter in in, or, uh, in a range, although it's very important to define the risk reward. If the risk reward is good for us to enter the trade, okay, we took it. If the risk reward is no good, uh, I prefer see, in this case, a break of this ranging area in order to reverse my position up. And we can see it break if we go here to the 34 pips chart, this is the same, this is the 34 pips. This range, let me clean here the object so we can see the accordance of the two. So this range here, the 130, 50 area break, okay, this is 130, 62. On the 34 pips, I need to see a break of this level up in order to go long again. So as you can see, we, we have here the ranging area. I need to see a break of this level in order to go long here. So I will definitely not enter here 
at at the close of that bar because market can go there and then go down again. So analyzing the two, the potential of these trades that I took here to key the potential of the trade was f further large, uh, further um, larger than the stop loss I have. Okay, so I decided to took the trade. Is okay the explanation, Gonzalo? I think it's clear now. Okay, thank you. So let's go to our analysis here. We are on the euro area now. I explain with this ranging area most of the levels we want to see. Let me put here. So without lines what we can see on the market now. Without these levels I draw, what we can see on the market now? We clear see that market breaks this level. Okay. We took the short trade or I took the I alerted this level. I took this short trade here. I closed and then re enter the forty on the on the thirty four. Okay. Then market find some support, break this, but okay, find some support. This was, I like to call the fake bar. Okay, market went down. We could think that market could go to 129.50 here, but then, okay, decide to go up. Okay, then go up, and then we are creating here some kind of ranging area here. This two lines are ranging, the market is ranging here about 60, 70 pips. This is most of the time where some systems work because work on range, but when market decide to break, they could not work at all because the basics of that systems are ranging areas. And these are the areas we need particular wood rate strain trade, um, Trend trading or swing trading need to avoid to be inside them. Okay? If you are short or if you have reversed long, you need to see a clear of these levels in order, okay, my long trade that I took is no longer valid. And that happens when market breaks this level here. Okay? You can even draw a trend line here. Okay, in order to see if market break this level here, then this could call okay uh, a pennant, okay, and then market go down again, and that is agreement with the 34 pips, or that is the the, the higher time frame that are holding that okay, this could be a good reversal for market made some further down move or a continuation move okay so the left watch on the euro especially today that it's friday and you know on sunday there it can be a, a gap if market if you are long and market closed close here 129.78 or below this level um, it's better to take, take care of that level because market can open on gap down. If market go up from this level, we can think they want to test this level here, the 131. Okay, so the level for go up is a 130.30 or 130.40 area. And then if market retracements and go to 129, below 129.80 is, is critical area for euro now because can lead to further down move. Okay, so this is the analysis for the euro. We have a okay a down a down week. In this case, we have a strong two weeks previous two weeks, and then we may we may have here a final day of the week Friday down. Okay, so the British pound finally reached the 163 area. Okay, reach the 163 area, 
but it's, it's, um, it's important we go here to the let me open the order book to see both the euro and the British pound. Okay, on the euro, as you can see here, we have here up move, then three down, up, and then a retrace. Okay, they are testing these areas. We can see clearly this is one hour, um, 60 minutes bar or one hour bars. Okay, you can see this, okay, come down, go up, and then they are testing here the one uh, on 30 level. On the Renko charts, you can see more clearly this is a, <coughs> sorry, this is a two bar range, okay, or two bar m mini cycle or three, okay, can go to three. Although in here, what we have on this up move, this up bar here, we have this huge gap. If you see on the open orders, below the price with this up move in the morning, uh, in the morning, we had no orders there, okay? So market will never allow this space here being open, okay? So as you can see, market went down again to fulfill that gap. Then we had stops below 129.50 and or 130. Market went up again, then bring more buyers and sellers to the market. You can see here on the open horn on the left side, this, but these are a zone of stops. So that's why on the ranging areas, um, is in, my, in my opinion, uh, I prefer to stay out on the ranging areas because the price are bouncing from up down and they are constantly cleaning the market orders or cleaning the stops that are on the market. Okay, then go up here again and now coming down. At this last hour, we we see that, okay, buyers appears to the market. We have now the stops from these buyers below 129.50 area and the stops from the sellers that entered here, 130, 129.80, 130.00 are above 130.20 now, okay? So these are the levels we can see and we can spot now, okay, to confirm our entries. But definitely on a range and Friday range is, is difficult to, to, to analyze, okay? But we can see with these tools, we can see perfectly the levels we want to take. So MRC, tell us the graph like where are the sell stops, buy stops, profit losses. Okay, profit, we we don't see here where the the the, the 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 traders have the have the profit targets. We can only see the stops, and you can see here. Let me put it show orders only, and you can see these are the open orders that are the uh, orders that are not in the market. So here, this blue represents the stops. Okay. And the orange represent the buy limit orders, okay, or buy stop if they are above, okay. The blues represent the stops of the market, and the orange represent the stops. And this is the tool to see the on the positions. These are the blues, are the uh, orders that are on market and they have an, uh, an realized negative profit. The orange are the unrealized gains, okay? That are the orders that are gaining in the market, okay? The blues are losing in the market. As always, you will see here more losers than winners, of course. That's how market behaves. So, to go to the British pound now, it's curious to see, and this up move, we have to 163. I learned yesterday for a, 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 a yesterday and okay Tuesday and Wednesday. I I alert they could probably do a scale down of the stops. And what is a scale down? As we saw in previous webinars, that the stops were always above 163. 
the scale down or what I call scale down is when they pressure the market or pressure the, 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 the players in the market to lower the stops on, so they can eat more easily or they can clean more easily those stops and clean the market from those orders. We can see here that the stops were already when price is 162, the stops begins at 162.50, then 162.80, and then only above 163. Market begin to go up, clean here, and this move first 163, more more stops appear at 162.80, then clean. And what happened here at the top, and right now, some stops, the, 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 the first non-believers or the first uh, investors uh, uh, that were short and uh, giving up from these trades were eat that on this up move above 163, but the others are accumulating now above 164. What this can tell is, okay, these, these investors are expecting Okay, we give another chance for market move, in this case, uh, 80 pips or 100 pips. Okay, and this is what's happening in the most retail traders when they move the stops expecting that market goes to the level, okay, of profit or a break-even trade. Here you can see clearly what I am, I'm, I tell in most and most um, uh, and most uh, uh, traders tell that we don't need or we don't have or we don't should move our stops expecting the market goes to our level. If we enter in a trade, we define the the profit target if you have profit target or define your stop loss and stick to your stop loss. In here you see, I will go, I will go into, to finish now, Vicky. Uh, sorry. Uh, here you can see that they move the stops and market can go and go to 164 and they lose another 100 pips. Okay, so thank you very much for attending. Uh, I hope you have all an excellent weekend and hope you have all a profitable and enjoyable trading. So, uh, see you on Monday at 30, okay, at our In The Money webinar. See you then. Bye.